Hey guys, um, shout out to Listener TPN, thank you. Thank you to RGVA, Wyan Sun, and don't worry about being late, I still might see it. And this is the thing I'm gonna do today, so. And, um, I'm nervous about this one because I just don't know what I would do. <laughs> something I've never done before and sounds a little weird and well not weird but like it's just not what I usually do and um I don't know if this is what people want so well I just I guess I'll give it a try listener I'm home listener Hmm, they're not watching TV, or in the kitchen, hmm, that's weird, they usually wait for me, hmm, well, let me just check the bedroom, or maybe they even went to the bathroom, hmm, Listener? Not in the bathroom. Hmm, maybe the bedroom. Listener? You there? Is that crying? Uh, listener? What's wrong? Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Just breathe. In. Out. In. Out. That's good. Continue. Just keep breathing. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, it's fine. Just keep breathing. Once we study that breathing, you should start to feel a little more okay. Is this a panic attack? Yeah? I wonder what triggered it. I guess I'll have to ask. Um, well, you seem to be doing a little bit better now. It's been a couple of minutes. You've been doing good on your breathing. I do not want to kickstart another panic attack, but could, if you're comfortable, could you tell me what happened? You started feeling really down, and you thought I would leave you? What makes you think I would leave you? You don't think you're good enough. Oh, baby. No. You're very much good enough. In fact, you're better than most. You're amazing. You look good. Everything about you is perfect. Someone told you otherwise. Who? Your mom? What did your mom say? Your mom said that I would leave you because you're not good enough, you don't look good enough, and that you're ugly? Well, screw her. You're beautiful, you're perfect, and you mean the world to me. You don't know much how much you've impacted my life in good ways I love you and I don't want you to leave me <sighs> just don't listen to your mom okay your mom doesn't know you your mom doesn't know you like I do is what I mean and if your mom's saying those kind of things, then she's clearly on drugs and she needs help. 
or she's just a bad parent. And that's not good. I wouldn't keep in touch with her. You can, I guess, keep in touch with her, but I would distance yourself. So you can overcome what she said to you. Because you don't deserve that. I think you're perfect and whatever your mom says is a lie. Um, is this something that your dad participates in? No, he loves you. He calls you beautiful and says that you're perfect and that I would never leave you because he's met me. Oh, that's sweet. You should listen to your dad. He knows what he's saying. He knows what he's talking about. Your dad would be giving you some good advice. I would not advise ever listening to your mom's opinion again. Clearly her opinion is wrong. Because all those things she said about you could never be true. And as long as I'm here, I won't let her continue to make those comments. If she tries to do that again, I will be taking the situation into my own hands. But for now, what would you like to do? You want to watch a movie. All right, sit here, on the bed. Yeah, that's it, slowly. All right, sit down. I'm gonna go make us some popcorn and you can pick the movie. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. I go get to the kitchen to get popcorn while you pick out a movie. You search through the movies, the popcorn heats up, and you wait for me to come back. Darling, are you in here? There you are. Hello. Um, what movie did you pick? Oh, that's a great movie. It's your favorite? Oh, well, uh, I think it might be one of my favorites too. But, let's just watch it before I get distracted and start talking about something else. <laughs> you know me. You watch movies for the rest of the night. We cuddle and make each other happy. And the rest of the night goes smoothly. You sleep well, wake up the next day, and it's almost like none of the bad stuff ever happened. Okay, that was really hard. I did not know what to say or do, and I definitely had some word mix-ups in there. And it's also the first time I've ever done anything where I've had to use me. So, <laughs> that was a little different, but I enjoyed the experience. So, I hope you like this. And I think I'll go back to Rayx listeners, unless this is something that people want again. But, uh, for now, I think I'll just keep it to Rayx listeners, unless asked otherwise. But, anyways, love you guys. Bye!